Okay, sorry about that. So as I was saying, it's proportion, and then you have together and separate, okay? But the problem is that together is only going to be one fraction, but the separate would be separated into a plus with two, okay? Now, what you need, you need the lawns to go on top, so I'll just put a little L there, lawns per hour, so it's lawns over hours. It can't be hours over lawn or the problem's screwed up. Now, those are not variables, those are labels. They're not letters, okay? I will be taking them out as I work through the problem. Okay, so we have the together rate, 10 lawns in 4 hours. Now, if this dude right here was all by himself, he'd still have to mow 10 lawns. If this dude here was all by himself, he'd have to mow 10 lawns. Okay, we just don't know the time it would take them to do it. Okay, so with that being said, okay, the times are unknown, so that's why there's two answers to this problem, but we differentiate because one of them can mow twice as fast as the other. So then one of those x's will be multiplied by 2, okay? You can put that in the front if you want, okay, or behind it. It doesn't really matter. Just one of them. It doesn't matter which one either. You can do it there or there because they both have tens. They both have the same numerator, so it doesn't really matter where the times 2 goes, okay? So I need to apply the common denominator method to, to solve my equation because I have these three fractions with a plus sign on one side, so I have to get a common denominator. I just get it with all three, so I can just cancel out the denominator completely. Okay. So I'm going to extend the lines. But first, I'm going to see if I have to make any parentheses. I don't. That's one term, one term, one term. And don't put the, keep putting the labels. I put the L and the H so we knew where to put the numbers. Now that it's filled out, we do not need them anymore. Okay, now X wouldn't need a parentheses. Two time, no, two times X would not, okay? That's only one term, okay? Two X is one term. Two X, two times X means the same thing. More than one term is when I have addition or subtraction within the expression. So that does not need a parentheses. Then four. Okay, so in my common denominator, I have to worry about outer x, two, and there's a repeat outer x and a four. Okay, so outer x, that's outer x. I have one, one, and zero. Okay, so I need to get that last one so it has an outer x. Okay, now two, zero, one, zero. So I need to get these outside two so they have an outer two. It doesn't matter where you put it, okay? Times two, times two. And then four, zero, zero, one. <clears throat> so times four, times, it doesn't matter where you put the times four, it really doesn't. As far as in front or behind, it doesn't matter, okay? This one already has it. So get the denominator out, okay? Because now I just look across the top. So I have parentheses for the first fraction plus a quantity of parentheses for the second equals a quantity for the equals. So 4 times 2 is a 8. 8 times 10 then is 80, okay? 4 times 10 is 40. And over here we have 2 times 10, 20. 20 times x is 20x, okay? So... This side, you just got 20x, and obviously when I look through that equation, it's quite obviously I have x only, so we are applying linear properties, okay? There'd be one answer, because it's x, not x second. So this side just has 20x, and on this side, we have a constant and a constant, so we add those together, and I get 120, okay? So linear properties times 20, and we just divide by 20. So 120 divided by 20 is 6. 6 equals x. Okay, so 6 is your answer here. So just go into those x's in the original thing and replace it with 6. Now this other guy would be 2 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay. Now we're going to prove why that's correct. Because 10, 10 over 6 plus 10 over 2 times 6 is 12. I would hope you'd know that. Is 2 and a half. Well, 10 divided by 4 
is 2.5, which is the same as 2.5. Okay. Okay. All right, last one, last page. In, this rela in the relationship between the variables, a direct is a relationship between the variables a direct variation and inverse variation or neither? If it shows direct or inverse, write an equation. Okay? So I'm going to do direct question mark, inverse question mark. Okay? Now, direct is division. It's y divided by x. Okay? If y divided by x is the same thing every time, it's direct. Inverse of is y times x is the same every time. So we're going to take 6 divided by 3, and that's 2. Then 8 divided by 5 is not 2, it's 1.6, so it can't be direct. Now inverse, y times x, so 6 times 3 is 18. 8 times 5 is 40, so it can't be either. Okay, so you just write neither. Easy enough. Okay, next one, direct or inverse. Okay, so y divided by x, y times x. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. 16 divided by 8 is um, 2, so it definitely can't be that. Okay. Y times X, 32 times 4. 32 times 4 is 128. 16 times 8 is 128. 8 times 16, well, it's 128 because multiplication is commutative. It's the same thing. And then 4 times 32 is 128. So, yeah, it's inverse, okay? So, circle inverse. Now you got to write the equation for inverse. Now, inverse means you got y equals, but you make a fraction with x on the bottom, okay? Now, as far as what is it divided by x, it's this 128 I just come up with, okay? Because you see, if I put 4 in for x, 128 divided by 4, 32. If I put 8 in for x, 128 divided by 8, 16, okay? Put 16 divided by x, there's 8, okay? 32, there's 4, so that's the right answer. By the way, if it's direct, if it's direct, if you get a division every time, okay, it's y equals blank times x instead of whatever the constant of variation is divided by x. That is if it's direct. It'd be the same thing, only instead of... The constant that you got divided by x would be the constant times x. Okay. Inverse means the y and the x. Y is here. X is beneath it. Okay. Direct, you got a y and then an x right across from it using multiplication.